Hey, hello everyone, welcome to the Floofcast special edition of Halloween episode. I am Draco, I don't usually start it. And over in one corner is Nova Lynx. Yo! And we also have our moderator, Red. Yeah, hello. And I'm not moderating today, I'm playing the game. This is a kind of a new thing, just for this episode, mainly because we don't have Halloween uh, artwork. And we're not those type who just go randomly on the Googles and just download all the furry Halloween artwork without, you know, talking to the artists. And we don't do that. Mm -hmm. So you'll just see me be playing some Binding of Isaac. So it's not going to be a normal thing. If you want to see Binding of Isaac play through, uh, there's plenty of YouTube channels out there. And that's it. Yes, and if it is actually taken, uh, if it actually accepted openly on the channel, who knows? Maybe we can incorporate more gameplay stuff, right? Sure. Yeah. Uh, anyway, I'm excited to have a special Halloween episode of the podcast because I figure why not holiday? Every, uh, majority of the world celebrates it. Majority, yes. There's some people who don't. Uh, yes, most celebrate it, but only the U.S. so far. Uh, well, mostly the U.S. Like ninety percent of the U.S. on ha Halloween does trick or treating. Yep. Uh, I know Alabama, or at least one part of Alabama, is not doing trick-or-treating the 31st like normal people. They're doing it today because of football. <laughs> and I don't get that, but that was from uh, a friend of ours, Nero, uh, who supposedly wait, told us this. It was but, tonight? I thought it was two days ago. No, he said tonight, because I was talking about it, about it earlier today. Oh, oh crap. <laughs> He I'm asked me, is, is anybody doing trick-or-treating on another night? It's like, no, why? It's not <laughs> Halloween. That's like having a 4th of July on the 3rd of July. It just doesn't feel right. Well, again, that's definitely a holiday that most people don't understand uh, that are outside of America because, you know, Canada doesn't have a 4th of July. Why would Canada need a 4th of July? They got Canada Day. Mm -hmm. And Britain... Britain, Great Britain doesn't need a 4th of July because they lost, so... Yeah. Google! Yeah, goggles. If you don't know what the hell we're talking about, just Google it. Uh, it's another American holiday. Yes, any celebration of drink. Uh, this will also be a not... <laughs> a very cussed uh, episode for me, because I am playing the game, and shit will happen. Yeah, yeah. So expect yep, a lot of explosive so... hits out of me, because this is the Binding of Isaac, and I'm playing it on hard mode. So. Well, a good thing it's past midnight because we can actually call it the midnight cast then. It's only past midnight for you. That's technicalities. What What are you bitching about, Miss? Uh, I'm up, and my neighbors are pitching at us for cleaning the house at 6 o'clock in the morning. It wasn't 6 o'clock in the morning. Is that what they call it now? It's 10 p.m. Is, is, is that what they're calling sex now? Youngins, they're calling it fucking uh, cleaning the house. We were cleaning the house. I'm just going to stay out of this and not dig my hole. <laughs> I'll settle for my box, that's fine enough. I have a hole, I don't mind digging a hole. I, I always carry ladders with me. Hole my ass. Oh, you are playing the Binding of Isaac, you love jumping down holes. Pretty much. <laughs> Anyways, the Halloween. So, yeah. Off topic, folks. Still, still, no matter what I'm doing, I still am the moderator, for fuck's sakes. <laughs> That's only because you like the talk. I'm pretty much. That, I'm also young in the fandom, so I really have not much to say. Oh, and as for those that think I'm remarkably perky today, I am extremely tired, and I don't know up from down. Don't get used to it. Perky. <laughs> Giggity. This is a midnight cast. <laughs> Might as well go with it. Hey. <laughs> Ah, back on topic. What is everyone's Halloween plan? Uh, I'm staying home mainly because I don't trick or treat no more because I'm 20 frickin' six in age. 
And I don't even think we're giving out candy because we have a new puppy and she won't shut the fuck up when people knock on the door. So, yeah. We're probably gonna oh, go look up. No candy. I always love those dogs. Well, I she's. Remember, a... Yeah. I always remember those growing up, trick or treat, and just like eight year old kids and like, trick or treat, and you're like a little freaking chihuahua dog. You just fuck. run back to the car. No. I, I almost, I told a woman, I said, you better call your dog off because it was biting me in the angle. I said, I'm going to, I have every right to boot this dog across the fucking front lawn. Get the dog back off my ankle. I don't condone uh, animal abuse, but yeah, if you're getting yourself attacked, you're going to have every right to defend yourself. Yep, that's true. And Nova, what are your points? Um, I am working. <laughs> Well, they, I'm they working at the library Ooh. in suit, and then I have to go over to the pub, not in suit, obviously, and work not. for would four want, hours. Who, who would want <laughs> fur in their suit? Mm. Food. Food. Well, obviously you want fur in your suit, but you don't want... Yeah, never mind. Yeah, I think you meant soup. No, I meant food. Okay. Who wants fleas in their ale? Ah. A lot of people do. No, 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 no. I, uh, well, I am German, so we have a lot of weird stuff. Really? What? What I'm getting. You'll see when this is out on the channel. Uh, yeah, I am completely blind. We are completely blind right now to what he's playing, so anything that seems to confuse us will make complete sense after. <laughs> yeah, they're confused. You will understand because you're watching me play this. They do not. So, yeah. We don't have that. We're poor. We don't have that technology. No, it's not that we're poor. We just we have that technology, but we are very afraid that one of our three computers will just decide to melt down up, or internet will go poopy. Which we're already testing the limits by recording both Skype and the game at the same time. It's not that bad. I haven't made it to well. Yes, I have. Never mind. It's fine. Actually, I've made it to. <laughs> mom's heart before the womb and that's where I had issues with the last time I tried this and burnt my computer out almost twice. So, yeah. Hey, well, make sure not to take that long, then. No, it's not that. It works fine. I have more RAM than I did the first time I did this. Oh, alright. Told you this already, huh? <laughs> well, guys, probably move on to me. My Halloween plans, uh... Probably just some costume parties. This is the first time I'm going to go put some effort into what I actually wear. He's going as a big giant condom. <laughs> that's not a first. You know, that's... Knowing the people around here that I know, that most of them are drunk and most of them, most of them are rednecks on Halloween, so they probably will make a couple condom jokes. What's, uh, well, is, uh, well, he's kind of important to the group because he is your significant other. What's he doing, Nova? Or is Gooby? he working? Yeah. Gooby's also working. <laughs> he was thinking of going out to see the chef, but we could never find him as the orange mustache. As a what? The Swedish chef from the Muppets. Oh my god. You know, you could just shave what him bald and have him go as. Go, have him go as one of the terrorist guests. Or you could oh, just yeah. dress him up in a uniform and say he's Gordon fucking Ramsay and let him cuss the whole mess of time. So be all right. And then you can apologize afterwards because you're fucking Canadian. That don't touch. Uh, if he's not blonde already, that would require bleaching his hair. Ah, who cares? <laughs> not my hair. I have to worry about. Oh, it hurts just thinking about it. What? It How hurts just thinking about bleaching my hair. Wait. For what? some people, it hurts a lot. Really? Yeah. It only mildly burns. Really. It depends how yeah. sensitive your scalp is. If it's sensitive as my normal hair dye feels like my, my scalp's on fire. Okay, I've dyed my hair once. And I've never fucking burnt my hair. Yeah, you're doing it wrong. No, I was you're actually doing, doing tips. That's probably why. I wasn't actually fully dyeing my hair. Okay. Real tips. 
Okay, so we figured out what we're doing. Um, well, Nova's got like the late. Well, I can't really say lazy. It's not really lazy, but it. What do you mean it's not lazy? It's your comment. Yeah. It's like when I used to, when I went to college and the guy who won the fucking Halloween costume contest wore his fucking military uniform. It's so. <laughs> so it's kind of not ingenious. Whatever. It's not, not even a costume. It's not even a cat costume. I don't wear. It. I don't do you're costumes though. Jealous. I have a fur suit, you little bitch. Okay, I don't have the money. Ladies and gentlemen. And besides. Whatever, Gooby. It's not boring. Leave me alone. You're just jealous. I have a fur suit too. Back off. <laughs> we need to get that man a fucking mic. Uh, no. Don't yes. Give Gooby yes. A mic. Yes. We're gonna give. We're gonna get Gooby a mic so he can we be in this. Yes. But you wanna know what? I'm gonna wear my first suit with something else. How about that? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> she's gonna be even smarter, and she's just gonna wear her underwear on the outside. I'm gonna be super dog girl man. Dog girl man? I don't know. Batman. I'm Bat Dog. Yeah. Sure. Whatever. So oh, wait, in, in, the, in the library, are you going to commit to your costume and just pantomime everything? I don't pantomime. She's not, not one of them. Pussy. She's not She's not a fucking um, telephone. I'm not Who a stinks. silent fur. What? what is, well, I, that's another thing. Okay, I understand why telephone chirps and whatnot. I don't, off topic a bit, sorry. But there, I've seen others who are, you know, not chirpy animals chirp. Like dogs and wolves. They don't sure why why what i don't get it any excuse to have a squeak toy or right. any excuse to have a freaking thing in your mouth uh, take that how you will everyone whoop there it is so we get when you don't have a fucking um plan anywho i think it's going great so far As someone says, oh my god, in the background. That's Gooby. Perfect lost. timing. Awesome timing. Well, I'm not there yet, but, you know, maybe ask in another 30 minutes. <laughs> oh, in 30 minutes, we'll just be sitting here all playing our games completely forgetting about the podcast. No. Like, just like so, okay, um, if you didn't go out anywhere, or you weren't going out anywhere, and you're staying at home... Would you watch scary movies, and what scary movies would you watch? Green Inferno. The original... Why? What? Why? Why, why would you watch why it? Why yes. Green Inferno? Yeah, why? Because spooky cannibals and people eating people and munch, 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 no, 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 no. I don't know. I'm weird. Don't ask. So it's a fucking... It's a piss-ass zombie movie. That's not really a zombie movie. What? The Green Inferno. What do you mean it's a zombie movie that's not really a zombie movie? Cannibalism. Same concept. Just one's dead and one's not. Okay, well there were cannibals before there were zombies, so... And there were zombies before there were cannibals. Ah. Well, uh. written cannibals. We'll just go with that. Okay, because I meant real-life people. Um, well, There's real-life people who wrote about them, too. Playing a game. Hush up. <laughs> Alright, Draco, what would you watch and why? Uh, either Friday the th I would just binge on Friday the 13th movies or the original Hellraiser because that was. I've uh, seen it and I can withstand a lot of gore, but the original Hellraiser is something else. Really? Hellraiser is not that bad. Hellraiser is actually fucking hilarious. It was either Hellraiser or Hellraiser 2. There was one where there was a lot of gore. I've seen them all. They weren't that bad. Now, Saw. That's fucking gory. Uh, no. There was one scene in Hell I forget what it was. It was like a bedroom scene. Like, uh, the... Pinheads, I think he's called? Yes. 
Yeah, Pinhead and like the girl's father were in their bedroom. There was something following that that was extremely graphic. Uh, it's been a while since I've seen, seen them, so yeah, I don't remember. But those are good. I do like the Hellraiser. Yes, Hellraiser. Younger friends, go look into it because <laughs> we cannot let old traditional good movies die. It's got a weird storyline. They kind of do explain if you watch all the episode, all the movies, how he became who he became. But yeah, it's an odd movie. It's the yes, uh, '80s, ni early late '80s, early '90s movie. So there is a lot of what the fuck in uh, it. Yeah, for an eighty for an '80s movie, that that one scene. There's so many, I can't even remember what scene is from what movie, but. I remember in one of them, it was near the end, there was like Hell's Labyrinth in one of them, which was... The first one, I th no. Yeah, second one, second one, no, it's the second one, because yeah, um, she's at the uh, uh, sand asylum. Yeah, but forgive me for that, uh, for my language, but those kinds of scenes were fucking awesome back in the day. Forgive you for your language, where I've been sitting here cussing like a fucking sailor in the last <laughs> five minutes. Uh, yeah, I like the Hellraiser movies. Um, they're kind of hard to find. Uh, if you don't go out and buy them. They might be on Netflix, I don't know. Uh, they right are, but I think, uh, I one found or two the, of them might be removed due to gore. Uh, Amazon. Actually, that's where I found mine, were on Amazon Prime. Uh, all of them, or almost all of them. Uh, every so often you'll, they'll be on HBO, cause, or Showtime or something like that, because of the Halloween week, whatnot. Ooh. Uh, I did forget one movie. Pet Cemetery 2. Ah! <laughs> Good reaction. But anyways, uh, Pet Cemetery 2. Uh, 2? Yeah, 2 with the little boy. Or is that the original one? The f Probably the first one is the best one. Everyone says the second one sucks. I've never seen either one of them. The uh, first one was made it was a Stephen King movie. The second one was I don't know who made it. Second one was good for me. The one with uh, little boy and his friends. Haven't seen either one of them. Leave it in the comment section down below if you know. Mine would have to be, and they're hard to find anymore. Is actually the original George Romero zombie movies. The original zombie movies. The man who created zombie movies. Not oh, this new yeah, shit uh, nowadays where all there's fucking sex and all that crap. I'm talking about the original yeah. you fight for your life and the zombies were slow and uh, they weren't stupid. Netflix has two of them. They have the original Dawn of the Dead and Day of the Dead. Uh, don't have Netflix right now so I can't really watch it. Um, mine would have to be... I don't See, I'm weird. I don't like the remakes of the original Night of Living Dead series that George Romero made. However, the very first... Night of the Living Dead, I like the remake that was made in 92, the one that's in color. Not because it's in color, but the fact that the storyline actually made sense and ended properly. If you've seen the two of them, then yeah. That is what... Uh, George, is, is he working on anything right now, or is he just kind of... Who? Uh, George Romero, is he working on anything? No, kind of uh, off his what he's been doing, uh, he's been doing a lot of the uh, right cast for a lot of different movies and shit like that, and he has his name to him, but I don't think he's directing any of them, because if he is, I feel so bad. He's like George Lucas lately, who's become shit. Oh no, George Romero uh, still has talent, it's just I think he wants to bring his like movie making career to an actual end so he can retire properly. Yeah, I think he's done. I haven't seen anything from him that's any, you know... Uh, his namesake's been used in a lot of different things, but other than that... Beautiful. Uh, other than uh, that... Which is a, I, I, it's a pity, like, all these younger people, they're missing out on, like, the good days, but... They were still old when we were born, don't get me wrong. I no. Mean, George Romero, the, Albert Hitchcock, and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, the original, old. uh, very first Night of Living Dead was in the early 80s, I believe. And it was black and white. It was a, there was been zombie movies before that, but there have not been the zombie movies that you know of today. They've been like voodoo uh, zombie. 
where the voodoo priestess would bring back a woman or whoever, and that would be as considered a zombie, because it is technically considered a zombie. But they the original... were so psychological, which was a lot more scary than gore. Not only that, but the zombie makeup was actually relatively well done, because it was actually low-budget makeup. I don't know where. I mean, I will try to find a link to it for the uh, description, but there's a video out there of... Uh, movie makers are doing uh, CGI versus traditional makeup and they're like showing a side-by-side -side comparison. Well, you gotta, you gotta look at it this way. Uh, the best example of CGI versus actual makeup and costuming is the original uh, Jurassic Park over the new Jurassic Park. Yeah. Mainly because the new Jurassic Park is 95% CGI. The original Jurassic Park was all done by costuming. Those raptors uh. that you saw in the movies were actually people in fucking costumes. Yep, they're running around in foam yeah, wrap. Those are actually animal. They're virtually what most people wear. The realistic stuff that you can get out there for the fandom type costuming. Uh, Jurassic World, I can understand. I mean, it doesn't live up to the original, but the fact that they tried and compared to like compared to most sequels, it's probably one of the better ones. Now, don't return. get me wrong. I've never seen it, so I can't really comment on it. But from what I've seen out of it and what I know out of oh, the information, I've heard it's I have ish. Yeah, it's most of the movie is not nothing. It's kind of like, kind of like the Godzilla movie that came out uh, beginning of this year or late last year. It's they spend most of the time just talking about it. I'm like the last ten minutes of the movie is action. Uh, so kind of like Pearl Harbor or if you really want to get there, uh, the last freaking. Um, Indiana Jones movie. Ah. Yeah, which doesn't make for good uh, endings. I mean, they're action-packed, don't get me wrong. If you have kids, they'll love it. Well, also kids, and you know, bright lights, colors, and kids are fascinated. That's kind of the concept of a lot of TV and, and YouTube. Uh, <clears throat> PewDiePie, but other than that, it's just... Uh, and nothing against the man. I mean, God bless him and congratulations for what you got, but you know you're playing at your role. You're playing at your people. And you can see it in his, if you watch his original stuff to his stuff he's got out now, you can tell it's money based now. Yep. He doesn't put effort into it anymore. Which is sad, but. Oh, hell no. I mean, even. Uh, uh, another original uh, explosive gaming channel that kind of grew big for its time was Coke Buskis. I mean, he had he put effort into it, but until the last two months or so, he spent half a year just uploading highlights from old playthroughs. No, I'm not doing this again. What? <laughs> this is my third Maggie run. I'm not doing a Maggie run again. Oh, do blue babies go? I am just doing a random stuff. Uh. Samson versus K. Or Samson versus. I don't remember who that was. But, anyways. So, yeah, that's what I'd be watching. But it's hard to find the originals. And, I mean, up to, like, the, the. The. Late. Or mid 90s. George Romero movies were good. But when you start getting to the 2000s, they start remaking making them. Just like anything that's remade, they become shit. It's like sex and uh, gore and then over-top zombies. And don't get me started on fucking Resident Evil. I'm a true diehard gamer, and that's just a fucking ha atrocity to the fucking game. Same with Silent Hill. What? Uh, oh, Silent really? Hill, the movies. Uh, yeah, and speaking of George Romero, uh, Treyarch from Call of Duty tried so hard to bring him back into life by actually having him, like, a mini-boss in the zombies map. Yeah, and I kind of, that just, I, that, that mod pissed me off. I love George Romero, and it's just Treyarch, it's just Treyarch, it's just, like, really, t you're taking a dump on a very good man who brought you zombie genre in the first damn place. Really. I mean, I like the characters that were in there, like Danny Trejo and shit like that, but, I mean, no. If it wasn't for him, there would be no modern zombie movies. Yeah, Pioneer, then 
can't. Uh, actually, if we want to go back to like uh, back to the zombie topic, I think the original Frankenstein we can have a nice yeah, think of that. Yeah, can be considered a zombie. And like I said, there was other zombie movies before that, but there was the vo- there, you know, it was a voodoo or religious type. Oh no, I know there is voodoo, but the original Frankenstein in the 1800s. True. It was the true. First, it was the first consideration. Well, outside Bam of voodoo, it was, was the it? first uh, major. No. Public idea of a reanimated corpse. Right. It wasn't Bam Stoker. Who wrote the original Frankenstein? Uh, give me a second. I'll look that up. Yeah, somebody's got Google. Really don't want to tab out. Or it can't. I can't say I really don't want to, I just can't. Uh, the original Frankenstein Arthur was Claire Bampton mm. and Mary Shelley. Ah, uh, Mary Shelley, yeah. Uh, yeah, Mary Shelley. Yeah, Mary Shelley, that's a very prominent name. Not very many people probably recognize the name, but it, was there like a comic or a movie that was based after, named after him, Mary Shelley? Or like a anim, a claymation type movie or something like that? I can't remember. You got, wait, are you guys talking about the original creator of Frankenstein? Yeah. Yeah. It's a woman. Yeah, we know. Uh, it's Mary okay. Shelley or something? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Red just said he. I had to crack down. Oh, crack. Uh. Okay. <laughs> hey, look, Draco, I'm not signing at you for a change. <laughs> what? Nothing. It's a joke. Oh, yeah, that's because I'm the one playing today. Anyways, candy! Because we're talking about Halloween, and this is the time of year, one of the times of year, is, unless you celebrate Easter. What's your favorite candy? And why? Since Nova's not really contributing much. <laughs> Tell us your favorite candy. I don't know, man. Scooby, what's oh. my favorite candy? Ask the boyfriend for your favorite candy. <laughs> what's his favorite candy? Since chocolate! He's... I like Cadbury dark chocolate with almonds. It's called Burnt almond. Is that I actually, uh, one time, it's a candy. Chocolate bars candy. Shut up. I know I cried about it. I did cry. Cause... No, no, no. <laughs> I know it. No, I know it's candy. You're lucky you actually said something. Otherwise, I was gonna say your favorite candy would be those strawberry hard candy. Those like ten year old strawberry hard candy you find at like the bottom of Granny's purse. No, I like. Hey, I like those Cadbury. candies. Hush up. You mean cinnamon hearts? No, they're. It's a hard candy that tastes like a strawberry. Oh, that's weird. You guys are weird. Um, yep, yeah, I, uh. Says I a lady actually... who had to ask her boyfriend what candy she likes. Hey, man, I'll eat anything, okay? Leave me alone. Especially with candy. Uh, you kind of want to be careful with that wordy. I do like cinnamon hearts. What are you talking about? I don't like your cinnamon mints. Mm -hmm. Okay. Unless for eating anything. <laughs> yep. But What's his favorite almonds. candy then? Since Ruby he's. Ruby likes cinnamon mints. Cinnamon mints. No, that's not your favorite candy? What's your favorite candy? No, he doesn't know. He doesn't know. He don't know. Well, why don't you ask Nova? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I thought you liked the dog bones. Oh yeah, I like the dog bones. Um. Wait, actual dog bones? No, not no red. We have <laughs> hard candies. Well, no, I know there's hard bones. candies that are like dog bones, but I'm. No, I don't eat dog treats. Okay, I guess I'm the only one. You're the only one who eats dog treats. I guess. So. You eat dog treats? I like occasional milk bone. Are you being serious? Huh? <sighs> yes! Oh. Yes! Oh. I've already- why would I be saying it if I didn't mean it seriously? I don't know, you could've been leading me on and been like, No, you weirdo, boo! I don't know. I don't know you. Stranger. Stranger danger. Well. 
Draco, what do you what candy do you like? Um Exactly, uh I would have to go with um I would actually have to go with something similar to ours. Not like a chocolate bar, but it's a tie between Reese's Cups or Nutrageous. Why? Just uh, because you like peanut butter? Yeah, because peanut butter and Nutrageous, I just fucking love peanuts. Ah, forgive me, I like pe I like nuts. I'm not saying anything, I'm just... Shaking my head in okayness, I guess. <laughs> and trying not to die. Hmm. Don't forget to shoot the poop. That's what I'm doing. I don't particularly care. Uh, and the only thing I'm really not a fan of are is peanut butter based candies. Uh, Butterfingers. I eat it, but I'll rather have a Butterfingers we over a Reese's. We are totally opposite of everything we like. I'm not a fan of peanut butter. Never really was, never really am. You're not a fan of peanut butter, yet you're part wool. You're part doge. So? You hate peanut butter, I love it. You, you hate grape, I love it. <laughs> Well, I like grape jelly, but grape juice or artificial grape. Yeah, I, grape juice, I love it. I don't like grape, artificial grape. <laughs> I don't you like artificial banana. I want hamburger cheesy enchiladas. Hamburger helper. This has well, gone from a Halloween like episode to me and my mate argue about shit. About what kind of food you guys are gonna eat if you're ever together? <sighs> You're both strong, independent white men who can make their own hamburger hey, helper. Hey, hey, I'm not white. Sorry. Well, You're, same thing. No, Gooby, the they wouldn't put peanut butter in hamburger helper. <laughs> Actually, I would. Apparently, Draco would, though. Um, Seriously, have you ever put peanut butter on a burger? Delicious. No, I have that's not only, put peanut butter on a burger. That's the only time I actually like peanut butter is on my hamburgers. Peanut butter and jelly on my hamburgers. You put- oh yeah, you do put PB and J on your hamburgers. Mm -hmm. You guys need to taste it up in Canada, eh? No, we're too busy chugging back maple syrup and riding our polar bears to work. Leave us alone. Well, you know, some of you ride po some who can afford polar compass, bears. The golden compass? Yeah, it's everyday life for a Canadian. Some can afford polar bears, the rest have to ride mooses. Get it right, jeez. No, the moose are more expensive. You could always, you could always settle up and suffer with the truth. No. They're not Welsh. We just alienated two different freaking communities. So, yay. Yay! Uh, yeah, I'm not, as long as it's not peanut butter, I'm not particular about the candy. I really don't do candy all that much anymore. Um, mainly because I'm, I'm a big guy. For Christmas, I'm gonna get you a 10 pound bag of Reese's Pieces. Actually. Why? What? Sorry, Reese's Pieces? Yeah. Oh my god. Do you know what those are? No, I know what they are. Okay. But up in Canada, we call them Reese's Pieces. That's what we call them. That's what I call them. Reese's Pieces? I call them Reese's Pieces. pieces. Reese's Pieces sounds like Pieces. I eat food, yum yum. Hey, hey. That's, that's, <laughs> it's not as bad Fuck. as my old English teacher. It's not as bad as my old English and math teacher because he had a story about where he went to Sonic. He couldn't get his order Sonic. right, and instead of saying Reese's Pieces, he kept getting stuck on saying Reese's Penis for like five minutes. <laughs> Yes, hello, I like Reese's penis. <laughs> so the worst the worst part is it was a Sonic, so you could see all the employees inside laughing at him. Oh no. And then out in public the skater girl comes out, she's like, Would you like me to repeat that order for you? <laughs> well, I mean, maybe there was a guy in there whose name was Reese's and he wanted his penis. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, what if your English teacher was gay and he just really wanted a schlong shoved down his throat? Like that shit. or fucking well, not necessar necessarily gay. There is other. No, I know, but if he was hankering for the gay. Yeah. Yeah. We don't want to alienate <laughs> any more people than we already have, so. Oh, come on. Let's just be the second to last politically in incorrect place. 
fuck politically incorrect. If you guys can't stand it, then get out of the kitchen. <laughs> We're on fire. <laughs> well, technically, two of us, two, two of the four of us work in a kitchen. So, yep. yeah. Uh, I could work in the kitchen if I actually cared about. Uh, I'm not talking about. A sandwich. Shit. Um. Well, you know how you know how good that sandwich would be by the time it got to you. It'll be fine. Oh, uh, well, good. Uh, let's see. What else? <laughs> we, I was going to try to think of something else that we get to talk about. Okay, we got the candy out of the way. Yeah. Um, we got the candy. We got the movies. Hey, favorite monster. Okay, that'll work. Nova. Why me first? Okay, fine. Draco. God, for God's sakes. Why not you? My favorite monster would have to be... Hmm. Gotta be Pinhead, actually. Because he's both he's both sadistic, but he also has a kind heart from time to time. If you piss him off, he will kill you. If you're, you know, innocent, he won't. But I think that's mostly because of his humanistic nature that shines through. Draco, what's yours? Um, I don't know if I can name a specific monster, but I would have to say, uh, the general overall creature is would be kind of like uh. The mutated. What game is it? Metro, like the Metro 2033 dog-like creatures. Oh, the rats. Uh, yeah, whatever the ones are. I think they're mutated rats, movies. but yeah. Yeah, I always thought those were kind of cool. Yeah, I think they're rats. I don't know. I don't know the story arc about it. I play the game. I just don't remember the story arc about it. They don't work on my computer no more, even though I own both the, the original copy and then the digital deluxe version of it, too. That's weird. Well, they were on sale, so that's why I bought Yeah, them. Metro Last Light was a good attempt at following it, but I don't think they're going to ever find a game to actually proceed it. Because well, I think there was, like, one book, wasn't there? Or was it a series? Uh, I, th I don't know. I you know have Google. King. Okay, while you're googling it, Nova, what is your favorite monster? And My favorite monster. Um... Give me a second. Booby. Favorite <laughs> monster. <laughs> that's what I gotta say. Yes, Gooby. Gooby, what's your favorite monster? Yeah, that's fine. Too. Can we make that's a new favorite. series called Ask Gooby? <laughs> You just wait. I, I have a concept on this next time she asks. Okay, can my favorite monster be from... Like... Gotta I let was, it go. Not, I was from a movie, I, so... What do you mean from myth? Why can't it be from, like, religion and stuff? It could be from religion. Or okay, cool. Be, mine was from a movie. I just, no, uh, why does it have to be from... from Cthulhu! Cthulhu. Cthulhu! Yeah. Oh, the lame. Are... I'm sorry. Squid. Hun. Squid. Right. The... Pentacle. Superman is not my favorite superhero. <laughs> we need to get that man a mic. So this makes no, more I... sense when he's when she's arguing with him. No, don't give him a mic. Yes. <laughs> yes. No. We, we need to start a Patreon account, and the first Patreon a goal Patreon is to get Gooby a mic. <laughs> get Gooby a mic. <laughs> Put it on Kickstarter. <laughs> Kickstarter to get Gooby a mic. No, Kickstarter to get Nova her own headset. Okay, whoever get someone a headset. If it has to be right Nova. Now using Gooby's. So or Kickstarter Gooby. to get right. Nova to give back Gooby's headset. <laughs> I need a Razor Kraken. 
if that debate about the headset gets any more intensified, I'm just gonna send you two paper cups and a string. Too bad two paper cups and a string won't work with technology. It'll work fine. I'll get a really long string. Let's, let's put a USB cord in one end. You want to do a USB cord on one end? No. Stop laughing! No, wait. If one, if one cup carries a signal on each end, can we just use a whole box of Dixie cups and get, like, a megaphone? <laughs> Honestly, uh, folks, we're not drunk. It's not a drunk street, uh... Cast. Now you're just making it seem like we're drunk. New Year's, New Year's, just wait. Like, New Year's will be drunk. I'm not high, officer. I'm you're tired. Kind of I'm, I'm high off of being tired, so that counts. That's like you're just you're just smoking a joint right now, Grace. So tired, my ass. All right, so favorite your favorite monster is Cthulhu. What is yes. Gooby's? Gooby, what's your monster? He's still thinking. Oh, for fuck's sakes. <laughs> I know, right? Try it, doot, so doot, doot, so doot, 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 doot. Is it the Wolfman? Is it Dracula? Is it Thing? Is it it's like, Mothman. It's Nova. It's Mothra. It's me? It's I'm his favorite monster? <laughs> no, 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 wait, wait. Shut I, I know up, his favorite you monster. Son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, wait, I know his favorite monster. <sighs> I'm gonna hurt you, Gooby. <laughs> That's not very nice to say. The reason why Nova is that will not <laughs> return to the podcast again because she ended up in jail. <laughs> Prehistoric? This, what? This just then murder in Canada. <laughs> I cannot hurt you. Gooby <laughs> says that when I have BMS, it's prehistoric monster syndrome. <laughs> No, I have not <laughs> seen that YouTube video. Tell me I was your favorite there. fucking monster. Before I hurt you. My mother doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it counts. Obi? Sure. Obi's his favorite monster. Aw, oh, he's a little I kitty monster. By the, by the way, those who don't know, uh, Obi is her cat. Everyone knows Obi's my cat. Well. Not everyone. They don't know they're not in the loop and they need to educate themselves on how much of a dickhead my cat is. <laughs> also, <laughs> he's a kitten, so yeah. By the, by the way, he's now a silverback gorilla for Halloween. Werewolves aren't your favorite monster? I know you really, really like him. Which werewolf? Oh shit. Which, Which werewolf then? Jacob? Are you a Twilight <laughs> fan? <laughs> Is uh, Edward is Edward Cullen your favorite monster? He's looking at me like Shut the fuck up. So he's like, you know that A SA kind of face he's got like that. Squinty. Uh this just in double homicide in Canada. <laughs> no, homicide slash <laughs> Oh. Yes, Edward. Succubus. Who we like succubus? Of course, he likes succubus. Yeah, he oh, wished okay. I would suck his bits. That's what he's trying to say. <laughs> well, that's why your neighbors are so pissed off at you, because you are sucking his bits. I'm not. <coughs> we were cleaning the house. That's what they're calling it now, kids. So if your mother asks you if you're having sex, just tell her, "No, Mama, we're just cleaning the house." And this is what happens when you don't have a planned schedule. <laughs> nope. Happy well, Halloween! I'm, I'm, <clears throat> well, I'm glad Nova's mom killed five minutes at least. <laughs> so, um, let's see. What... What would be... Okay, a story. Your very most interesting Halloween or scariest or sad or whatever <laughs> or funnest uh, who started it? I don't care who starts it I know I'm not gonna ask Nova because she'll complain about it because she'll have to she'll have to phone her lifeline uh, uh, alright Nova I'm falling down and I can't get up Nova 
You know what, what? time it is. It's you know what time it is. is. Ask Gooby. Oh, Gooby. What's your favorite spooky thing? Okay. Yeah. That's an even harder question? Alright, pass. At, we'll come back to Booby. Draco. Draco. I don't know. Oh, for fuck's sakes. I think my Draco. most favorite uh, Halloween was um, we started out late. And oh. by the time. Hmm? Sorry, Gooby just blurted out his. Okay. Name. What is this answer the answer then? The Grimm's interpretation of Little Red Riding Hood. Okay. Apparently that was super cool. Ah. Cool. Super cool. Oh. Oh. That's what Gooby just super said. Super serial. Oh, yeah. I'm super serial, guys. Don't, don't make fun of me. <laughs> Man, Bear Pig is real. <laughs> Man, bear pig is real. <laughs> I also created the internet and everything, and global warming too. <laughs> All right. I don't know what's happening anymore. Mine would have to be because I went out late because we had ish we had to do on Halloween, and so most of the candy that I got was left, you know, just. I ended up with like bags full of candy because everybody's like, well, we can't, no more trick or treaters, we don't want to eat it, so. Then, of course, the fact that my grandfather used to be a mailman, so there's also that aspect, so I'd get big ass bulk candy because, you know, don't piss off the mailman or you never get your mail again. That was my favorite Halloween. Nova or Draco? Uh, yes. But I thought we question. were talking about favorite Halloween stories, and then it transitioned into No, the that could be that stuff. could be that too. That was one of my that was my favorite Halloween story. I tell people that story. Oh, oh. Okay. shaking my computer monitor, Gooby. <laughs> I don't. Shaking. I honestly don't know what my favorite story is, but if I had to. Uh, pick a scary one, a uh, semi-scary one. There's actually a book series I'm reading now that's uh, War of the Spider Queen. <laughs> War of the Spider Queen. Would you like to retry? Um. <laughs> Your oh, charisma shit. roll was a four. <laughs> <laughs> Would you oh, like shit. to try oh, higher God. for a better charisma roll? <laughs> Oh, like, I'm sorry. You got a one. Critical failure. You bit your like, tongue. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Pretty much. Basically, it's like, son of a bitch, you got a whammy. Can I spin the wheel again? And for you though, who know that is, it's an old reference that they try to bring back. It's an old television uh, game show. Yep. Wheel of Fortune is still current, though. Of course, and Wheel of Fortune's been around forever. So is Jeopardy, too. No, that what's your favorite like story? Many, many Don't get me started on Al Alex Rebecca. Smug asshole thinks he knows all the answers, but they're all on the cards. Wait, what? Nothing. Just being silly. Trying to fill in dead air. The proper YouTuber does. Aw, dead air. This sounds like a great story. <laughs> uh, my favorite Halloween story. You know, could like, be an actual story, or it could be something about your Halloween that you've done in the past. Oh, okay. Because that's what I meant by it, but Draco took it the wrong way, and Gooby just went with whatever. So. Hey, Gooby said an actual story. That's fine. I didn't say that was a wrong thing. Oh, personal Halloween stories. Okay. I'm not fully there. I'm slow, okay? Is that what you meant, Red? Was Doesn't matter. Either way is fine. Oh. I, I went with it because either way is fine. You fucked up. You fucked up, Ruby. No, he didn't. Bad dog. I said favorite Halloween story. Okay, well then I fucked up. 
I'm fine. It doesn't matter who fucked up because it's just it got it got an answer either way. Okay. I wish you could edit so we could put an F bomb counter in the corner. What? Oh. Oh. To give me fifty something Fuck bucks and I'll be able to do that. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> There's another one. What? Fucks. No fucks, fucks were given fuck. in this episode. Fuck off. We're having a fox counter. <laughs> Look. Oh, great. So now the Why the like... fuck do we have a fucking fuck counter? Because we fucking can. Shut the fuck up. Oh, great. So maybe the set of the last 50 minutes or so is just gonna be the F bomb. <laughs> Pretty fucking you much. started this. <laughs> fuck you, Draco. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Remember what I said about her personality, Draco? She's definitely like her her Sona. Yep. I stuff, mom, mom, mom. Yeah, that's why I had to. That's why I had to think about what she said about me. What? I have not a clue. I'm lost on that one too, hon. Yay! Hooray for being lost. Someone will get it in uh, Lithuania. Um. Okay, my favorite spooky Halloween story. Um. <laughs> 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 ask Gooby. No, we already asked Gooby. Ask Gooby about your answer. No, I'm not gonna ask Gooby about my answer. He doesn't know. Gooby don't know shit. <laughs> but he knew about the chocolate. <laughs> Don't bring up the chocolate. Don't bring up the chocolate. It's the sensitive stuff. Wait, move your booby. I heard booby. I think just I'm... thinking about titties now. Pretty much. I said booby. Booby? <laughs> Jake was thinking about titties, so he's just like, I said booby. No, I didn't say gooby, I said booby. Nothing about my titties. Let's just be thankful none of our internet or our technology is safe and is good enough to show webcam, otherwise, I, yeah. What, Draco? Are you touching your titties? <laughs> no! You are. I heard you moan. <laughs> I, I hear. Pe I hear people already scrambling to go get fucking a, us to get a Patreon account so we could see this shit. Pinch your nipples harder, Draco. It'll feel better. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the biggest fucking bird in the world you've ever seen right now. What? I actually could comment on that, but I really don't want to, hun, because you know our sensibility. We'll say after the cast. Oh. Don't cut Steve Austin on your ass. Pretty much. Anyways, alright, let's think of something else because now we can't think of hers and that's completely fine. Um, no! Does Hotel Transylvania count? Yes, sure. Cool. Hotel Transylvania. Oh! They said yes. Cause it's Halloween, it's got monsters in it. It's not spooky, but it's cute. Oh, well, personal Halloween stories. One time I... What was it? Frick, what did my mom dress me up as? She dressed me up as like a... A fruit. Or some kind of circular... <laughs> Don't laugh at me! I am a fruit. I was like a... <laughs> I think I was an apple, and I just like ran around. And it made this swishy noise because I think it was like inflated a little bit somehow, and it was just like swish 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 swish. swish. So all you heard was like three-year-old me swish 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 like like rain like rain gear kind of a swish, and it just this little apple came out of the darkness at people, and I, I had so much candy, but then my mom had to check it because that was around the time when people were like, no razor blades. <laughs> and I, I cried and I like threw a book at her because I thought she was eating all my candy because she was counting it. And then I was grounded and then I snuck out and I ate all my candy and I threw up on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> top, top of that, folks. 
<coughs> Please let us know how yours was in the comment section down below. <coughs> Angry vomiting. Projectile. <laughs> I'm not even gonna finish that. I wasn't gonna say vomiting. Oh. What, are you, what are you gonna say? Projectile penis? <laughs> no, I was gonna say proje uh, uh, projectile ejaculation. And oh. there we go. Dingo's dynamite. Yeah, when I get tired, I, I'm not there. Alright, so let's see here. Ghosts, do you believe in them? Yes or no, and why? Uh, Break for you first. Uh, 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 okay. Yes, but not in the sense everyone thinks. How so? Elaborate, please. Uh, I don't know if everyone. I don't know if people are ready for me to try to talk scientifically. Well, you brought up the subject. You said in other ways that we don't understand. So please bring, please enlighten us, because you started this statement. Yeah. Well, fuck myself. <laughs> you can do that later, okay? Actually, we can't. No, no, we'll just, no, we'll not let them know about that yet. Are you saving yourselves for each other? <laughs> Not that long. <laughs> <laughs> that would be like a year and a half to two years of complete torture. <laughs> no, no. Never mind. I have a statement on that, but it's not Thank here nor there. That no, here nor there. Anyway, yeah, ghosts existed not on our plane. Uh, maybe there's a complete. I'm not gonna say universe, but different plane of life. Well, I, the one thing I could say about that is with Einstein's multiple reality theory that it is possible with that theory that we transition to another time zone or another uh, reality. Or the ghosts that we perceive now are just creatures from another, or or the demons and whatever we see now are from a different reality. Same thing, different difference. But I can understand that. <clears throat> Nova's completely lost, but that's also fine. I'm not completely lost, I just don't give a shit. <laughs> so that's your answer, you don't give a shit about ghosts. Okay. No, I don't know, Gooby. Ghost. Do you believe? You believe in a thing called love? Mm. Oh, okay. Well, fuck you too. <laughs> you what? Later? Okay. Um, uh, ghosts. I guess. Yeah. I don't know. Possibly. Yes. No. Okay. Indifferent. Sure. Agnostic. Off. Uh, off topic. When are you guys getting time? married? Off topic. When are we getting married? I don't know. Ruby. When the fuck? <laughs> Why? Uh, oh. Amounts, Who asked this question? Red. You Draco. Know. Yeah. You put me on the spot, Red. <laughs> Actually, with Draco, I'm just commenting about it from earlier. Draco wants to know when we're getting married? Yep. But, well, uh, too bad for him. He's not fucking invited to the wedding. I don't care That means I'm not invited to the wedding. wedding. No, you are. He's not. No, no, I get a one plus, right? You get a plus one of... Your penis. <laughs> <laughs> well, no shit, but it's not like I'm a Ken doll where it's detachable or anything. That's not how it works. <laughs> so if it's plus one on his penis, does that include anything on it? <laughs> okay, fine. If you come in nodded to his crotch, <laughs> you can come to the wedding, Draco, but you have to be stuck to him via a knot. Like, I'm not God walking like I'm not talking damn. no, shut up. I'm not talking about a little knot. I'm talking like large veiny knot. And you guys get to sit in the front. And then you both have to stand up and give me a speech. <laughs> this is why I keep dying folks. This FYI. 
I don't know who would have it worse in there. His plastic <laughs> surgery or me having to endure it for six hours. Draco, you're just not going. <laughs> Draco, Red going. doesn't have to have plastic surgery on his penis. That would be painful. I'm talking about him wearing a wearable cock sheath. Calm down, son. Unless you really want him to have a permanent knot, but that is for your own business, not for the internet, sweetie. We're gonna have to put an age. We're gonna have to put an age warning on this video in the description. <laughs> warning: We talk about dicks. I know what I'll do. I'll just, uh, didn't I have? Don't I have a Schween picture that I drew for you guys? <laughs> yes, use that picture. I need that yes. picture. I need that picture as a thumbnail. Okay. Please don't. Give it to you. Give it. Here it comes. Can you Please feel it? I'm lost. I'm lost. I'm lost. I'm lost. I can't, though. I, as much as I want to, I can't put that as a thumbnail. Come on, it's not even that bad! Yeah, do you want to keep the channel, though? YouTube bullshit. Oh, Gooby doesn't know the joke. I'll have to explain to you later about... Oh, no, explain it to it now. Explain it to him now! <laughs> hey, so... <laughs> Get rid, you gotta help me. Hey, from the chat, <laughs> oh, what happened was... <laughs> Unless Draco no. wants to explain it. No. You have every I mean, right it, to defend yourself, Draco. No! Okay, what happened was we were talking about them taking like dick pics and stuff, right? <laughs> and Draco, the, the silly, silly guy that he is, he commented on the fact that he had to grab a flashlight or whatever to take a picture of his cat, but all we heard was flashlight to take a picture. <laughs> so that's why I have him holding his phone, because he says his room is really dark. And there's like darkness everywhere, because he's apparently a vampire and he doesn't own a lamp or can't pay for electricity. Suck before it, he's my twilight home. bitch. <laughs> and so I, I drew that picture, and then the smirk and the flashlight and the sheen and then the phone and everything. It's just it's glorious. I sent it to you, Red, just so that you can have it again. Alright. <laughs> If I had the editing technology, I would have put it in the video, but I don't. Everyone needs to consider themselves lucky. I have to deal with this for more than an hour. I can put a sensor bar on the head. Would that work? Yeah, you have to yeah that's the, whole the problem. Thing. <laughs> the he just the head of the penis? No, the whole thing. I don't know what it is when it can No, because the last time... So okay, this is how bad YouTube is from time to time. A guy I know who lost his YouTube channel over a fucking side boob. Okay, I'll just put some really... I'll put cross hatching. Oh, we could not put it at all. <laughs> no, shut up, we're putting it. Yeah. Everyone's gonna be like, I wanna see the picture that Nova drew! Put it on your, put it on your FA page, so you get people to go to your FA page. Ooh. I already fixed it. But put it on your FA page anyways. I'm gonna shove this picture up your ass, Draco. <laughs> I wish I don't even think that's anatomically possible. Get anything. Shoving, shoving a picture up his ass? Pretty sure a piece of paper will fit. I it's hope not so. even a piece of paper, it's pixels. Okay. Well, she's gonna print it out, hun, and it's gonna I'm gonna print it out and I'm gonna laminate it and I'm gonna lube it up and then I'm gonna tell him to sit down. Wait, wait, why laminate it? That would have hurt. Yeah, have you I don't want. Paper? Okay, do you want me to give your boyfriend's ass a paper cut? I don't want to give it a plastic cut. Wait, wait, why is it going up my butt now? I don't know. I said so, and my word is law. So sorry. I feel sorry for you, Gooby. I really do. <laughs> Red feel feels sorry for you. If my word is law. I know what to send you for Christmas. A dog collar. We already have many dog collars. <coughs> Don't add to the collection. Excuse me. I know. Shut up. Back to subject. Favorite Never. favorite spooky music. Spooky scary skeletons. 
for a change. It's actually something. It could be anything. It could be spooky, scary skeletons. She it just. Could be a <laughs> you can tell Draco so out of it because he mentioned it already. <laughs> What did I mention? Oh, Han, go to bed. Fuck. Like, seriously? <laughs> no, it's not the tiredness, it's the having to deal with the bullshit of the picture. We're not relaxed, we're not putting Welcome up the picture, the we're just giving you a bad time. You need to go home. I am home! Go hug your mom. He's asleep. <laughs> Even better. Uh, mine would have to be not really a traditional scary song, but it's Rob Zombie. Anything by him, mainly because, you know, not traditional. <coughs> Draco. I like... No, I'm not done. I thought you said you... Oh, no, okay. No, just because I like spooky, scary skeletons doesn't mean I'm not done. Okay. I like anything from The Nightmare Before Christmas. But isn't that Christmas? Halloween. Halloween. Oh, it's Halloween! I've never seen Nightmare the movie. Nightmare Before Christmas is literally Halloween. I, I don't know, I've never seen the Christmas. Jesus but. Christ. I've never seen it. I never really wanted to. <laughs> what's Gooby's favorite? Gooby, what's your favorite? <laughs> music, sweetie. What's your favorite music for Halloween? <laughs> We're talking about music. Don't make that face at me. Hey, Rat Music, do you have some? You don't want to be in the flute cast. Uh, too late, he's already in it. Yeah, you're already in it. He's just trying to touch his face, not so we're asking him all these questions. <laughs> yeah, aren't you starting? No, you're not starting. Okay. Just sitting in arc. Anyway, Oops. um, Gooby doesn't know. Oh, okay. Uh. Draco, take it away, since that bomb was dropped on us. <laughs> of crap. Alright, can I safely say something without possibly something haunted me for a year? I hope so. It hasn't been a year yet. No, but I can tell that picture's going to be around as long as I know you. When's your birthday? I'm just gonna post it every time it's your birthday. <laughs> I'm not going to... I'll tell you after. No, I'll just look at your Skype. You don't have to. It's fine. <laughs> hey. Uh, there's a I'm joke there. Now. Uh, anyway, uh, favorite music. Two kinds. Actual music in the studio? Hard rock? Hol no, uh, wrong. Same band, wrong music. Would you love a monster man by Lordy? L O R D I. Isn't that the girl who did, um. <laughs> <laughs> no! No! No, is it though? No, it's an actual metal band. Uh oh. Uh, they have a really shitty B genre movie, which for some reason I really like, called Dark Floors. Uh, I do, but anyway, uh, that's my favorite band music for when it comes to, like, in-game music. I gotta say, like, Pyramid Head theme is pretty good. Like, Silent Hill Homecoming Pyramid Head music. Any of the Silent Hill music was actually pretty good. Oh, yeah, they... That was freaking... It added to the, the more, atmosphere. The poor playable uh, teaser was cancelled. It's which by the way was very promising because after like Sound Hill Four of the Room, after freaking homecoming and uh, I'm not even gonna get started on shattered memories, all being disappointing, but the room wasn't bad, but uh, it was, well, no, it wasn't bad. It was pretty good, good for not having to be a Silent Hill game in the first place. Yeah. Okay. But, but, oh, sorry. But, uh. yeah, Silent... Seriously, younger people, look up, look up Silent Hill games. <laughs> Emulate, there's plenty of emulators out there. Um, I think you get on the PSN network because it was a PlayStation game. 
Silent Hill 1 was on the PlayStation 1 and the original Xbox, and it still had the graphic, and it still had the uh, memory and capability of having multiple Indians. Multiple Sorry, what? It had the capability of multiple Indians? <laughs> That's yeah. what I heard. <laughs> multiple <laughs> Indians. Endings, endings. endings. Okay, I was gonna say, what does Indian have to do with it? You must the Indian. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, next topic, because we just talked about it, but this uh, is why I don't host. My microphone sucks. Uh, <laughs> favorite uh video how, horror video game? I just already told mine, so. Alright. No, but... Oh. You can't just say that you're, you're done talking and then try and talk, Draco. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was going to say, for those still, for those who actually make it this far into the video, I was just going to put in a reminder that it's Silent Hill, because they probably don't understand me as much as you guys don't. I understand you. And again, we'd like to thank you for yeah. staying this long as well. Nova, your um, uh, favorite Halloween or spooky boopy game? Boopy game. I don't know. Uh, my favorite boopy game. I don't really play spooky games. Um, Simpleton. I get way too into it. Like Call of Duty <laughs> Zombies. I like. No, shut up. No, Call of Duty Zombies. I like cry a little. And I just get way too into it. But I watched Gooby play The Forest. The Forest. So that would be probably his favorite so, spooky game. If you were to play the original original Silent Hill 2, you'd probably shit a brick when you came to the rape scene with Pyramid Head. That was the what scene? That was that was number one, not number two, hun. No, number two was Pyramid Head, it was Penny's <laughs> Nightmare. Harry Mason's Nightmare. Oh, was that's right. I forgot. Dark. I forgot what the first one was about. God, it's been so long. That wasn't yeah. really scary, though. If she gets really into it, that one scene where it's doing something to another creature would make her shit a brick. Well. Yeah. I was gonna say something, but it's inappropriate. So, no. In a pro pro, oh, like you homo. <laughs> well, if we're gonna go with it, if she gets really into it, then I don't think she'd shit a brick. What? <laughs> From that scene, if we're gonna go that way. I don't know why I'm air quoting, because nobody can see me air quote. Yeah, see you. <laughs> Just don't ever let her play a yonder simulator. Wait, which one was that one? You mean Senpai noticed me? <laughs> yeah. Too late, probably already happened. Yeah. yeah. I don't know what time you work tomorrow, that's what you call. Uh. Alright, right, I guess we're gonna end it. Wait. Oh, wait, no. Uh, uh, hello? I don't know. Uh, no. Spoopy game, spoopy game, spoopy. Gooby, what's your favorite spoopy game? I know there's so many, come on. <laughs> no, Draco! <laughs> <laughs> Minus 50 points from Slytherin. <laughs> Fuck off. Oh god. Thank god I can't <laughs> read the chat. <laughs> Why? Because if we're going with me? Slytherin and shit like that, I'm just glad we can't. I can't read the chat. No one's talking in the chat, you know. All right, whatever. Again, I... playing a video game can't hear sometimes. Draco just whispered, "Silent Hill." But Gooby, what? Yeah, apparently Draco likes to suck its cock and <laughs> take it up the ass by Silent Hill. As far as the original horror, one of the original horror games. I like how you don't deny that. <laughs> I don't know if I should be jealous or jealous. 
jealous or jealous. Okay, my favorite. Have you seen Kermit's Wookie. head sword? Wookie. Oh god, I don't even know right now. <sighs> I like Jaws. I like playing Jaws because I bite the people and I lift them out of the water and then everyone screams. I thought no, that was a game. I remember the day that it came out for PS2. I wanted it so bad. <laughs> it's not lame. I get to be the shark and make people scream and die. And you can't really say much, Mr. Ryulin, saying it's lame because uh, you haven't mentioned your favorite game either. Mm -hmm. So I said you're lame because you haven't mentioned your favorite game, so I'm not lame. Goom, goom. I need a pillow, Goomy. Hitting my wardrobe. My butt hurts. I've been sitting for hours. Shut the fuck up, Draco. <laughs> I didn't say anything! Sitting on your dick. <laughs> yeah, well, whatever. Well, honestly, yeah, that is something I would wish. I wish I was that large. Shut up. You wish your dick was as large as Boomy's? No. <laughs> I don't know right now. I I don't have. I have no... Gooby likes Penumbra, the darkest sand. Hmm. I actually have that. Haven't played it. Oh, sorry. You don't. You don't rise. You fall. <laughs> All right. Now that we have officially dug our own grave, I think it's time to close the lid. Okay, well, I guess no one will ever know what mine is, but we'll just we'll just leave right, it and end it there. Well, now, so have a good. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'm thanks, glad if you stayed it made it this long. I like to thank everybody who did make it this far. Um, hey, leave a like and comment down below. <laughs> Please feel free to answer any of our questions or uh, answer the questions that we've stated in this video as well. Again, uh, apologies for the oddness and weirdness, but. The Floofcast will return to its original scheduled programming. No, it won't. What it probably will. It no, probably won't. won't. It never if you, will. If you guys watch the the latest freaking um, art showcase, it will. But I think that's a good thing, though. We're not stuck up. We're not going to be arrogant. We're actually going to have fun. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good day. See you later. Take it easy. Bye bye. Draco sucks cock. We hope you enjoyed this very weird episode of the podcast tonight, the Floofcast. Just remember, if you do, if you're over the age of drinking age, just be safe and make sure everyone gets home safely. Thanks, mom. <laughs> <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing, but yes, I, I get, that is a good thing. Mm hmm Yeah, no. I'll I had decide. to put that in there because anyone over the age of 21 or around 21 is going to use any, any godforsaken reason to drink. Anyways, that's a little PSA from the Floofcast, and oh, have no, a good I night. Oh, no, I already. Shit. <laughs> <laughs>